Determining genotype from phenotype. How can we tell the genotype of an individual with the dominant phenotype? In Mendel's pea plants, those with big P, big P, or big P, little P, both appeared purple. So if we have a pea plant with purple flowers, how do we determine which genotype the plant has? Big P, big P, or big P, little P? It's not like we could just look at the flower petals in a microscope and see a big P, big P, or big P, little P. Test cross. A test cross involves breeding the individual whose genotype we are trying to determine with a homozygous recessive individual. We know the genotype of a homozygous recessive individual. In this case, white is recessive to purple, so if we have a white individual, it must be little p, little p. If any offspring display the recessive phenotype, then the parent must be heterozygous. So in this case, if we have white flowers, when we cross a white plant with a purple plant of an unknown genotype, that unknown genotype must be heterozygous, big P, little p, because these white flowers had to have received a little p from both parents, including the purple plant with unknown genotype. Now you may ask, well what if these two flowers, uh, the white and the heterozygous purple, only had a couple offspring, and all of the offspring just happened to come out purple? This could happen, but it's unlikely with the more offspring that they have. If they were to have 50 offspring, for example, it would be statistically impossible that all of those flowers would come out heterozygous purple and none of them homozygous white.